Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Just want to see if some of y'all might come on. Um, I don't know about y'all, but today I don't know if it's the weather, but I've been a little breathless and feeling a little tired. So please bear with me. But I did want to come on here. I may have to take a nap on my sofa here at work. Just for a short moment. Um, I have so much to do though. <sighs> so I did want to come on here because I feel like this is something that I'm not uh, just me, but anyone can do. It's something small. If you have a, if you have hardware on your um, existing furniture um, pieces, any metal piece, any metal hardware, even even the hinges, guys. So um, my name is Dodie from Lean Wild Designs. I'm the owner of Lean Wild Designs, and um, I wanted to tell you that I just wanted to talk about you know updating hardware and different ways you can update your hardware to make a whole lot of difference so even even your um these right here this one I did not paint but I did take them off and scrub them I so no I sprayed them with some awesome and then scrubbed them uh just so that if I do decide to put a little bit of the pink tour um the french gold then then I will but I like to see things as a whole and what I mean by that is once you put the handles on something, it makes the whole piece change. So I will go back and look at it as a whole and decide what I'm gonna tweak and add to the piece. As you can see, you've seen this piece before. I'm almost finished it. I still have the mirror to finish. That's not gonna be, that's not gonna take me long. Um, but I do have custom pieces, so I'm not sure I'll get with it today. Um, so I do want to show you these hardware. I was really, really excited. This um, French gold, guys, look, we're from Louisiana. We're Cajun, French. We're like the the melting pot of Louisiana. We, we have a history and a culture that I would love to bring back to design the, the, uh, the feeling of, of who we are here. So this piece gave me that feeling and um, that's why, I, and I will go over why I did the paint the way I did, but I did want to show you this paint couture um, gilding paint. It's it's a, a metallic paint, actually not gilding. It's a metallic paint. So um, this paint was awesome because when I brushed it on after I cleaned the hardware. So this hardware right here, I cleaned it with. Um, I soaked them in vinegar. Sometimes I ball them, so when I clean them, it comes off really easy. Hey Terry, how you doing, girl? Uh, Terry Reynolds. Um, I'm trying to figure out how you related to um to the levies okay so back what i was saying so these hardware right here these were really heavy heavy duty hardware it's it they strong they're really good hardware usually i like to change them but this really um made the piece and keep its um character but updating it as well so i i uh, cleaned them with um vinegar and then it had been a few days since i touched them again so after um, I went to put them on. What I did was I sprayed them with some awesome and then scrubbed them again and rinsed them off and let them dry overnight. And this morning I uh, brushed them on with, no, I'm sorry, yesterday. I brushed them on with the uh, Pink Couture, the French Gold, which I love. Did I say that? I love it because it's not bright, but it really gives that authentic feel of that gold that we have. Although we do have bright gold and I love that too. So, um, I think that's kind of what it was in the first place. So what I did was I painted it on and I wanted to just dry brush it because I wanted to actually be dark in the creases. But some of the, the, the gilding paint went in the creases. Um, usually most um, metallic paints will, um, the more you brush it on, it will come off because it's usually thin. This is not. This really goes on well. You can put it straight on the hardware if it's clean. It stays. It, it just covers really good. I mean, I was really impressed. So what I did was I went back with the, um, with some, uh, with some glaze, um, dark glaze and wiped it off. So I'm just gonna go over and show you how I did that. So this is something you can do at home. Um, you can get a small pot of this metallic paint. You can get it in different uh, sheens, different colors, different metallics, and I, brushed it on with, that's it just a chip brush and so today because I wanted it to be have a little more dimension in this creases as you can see to really make it look authentic um, 
Glazing is something I used to hate and now I love it because glazing can really change one piece that you might have painted and make it look totally different with glazing. Um, so I'm gonna do it heavy handed and brush it on real quick. Did you know guys that this month is Mental Health Awareness Month? Um, and sometimes we don't like to admit that we all have those issues. I mean, we all have a lot of going on in our lives. So, you know, it, it, could, it could play tricks on us with our minds and our, and our bodies. Um, and then we have to, go, we have to kind of reevaluate the situation and stay in touch with our, our emotions, our mental situation, and find out what's going on with our body. I can tell you I'm probably breathless. Most of it is probably from just having a lot on my plate and just not being able to breathe. And that happens sometimes, but Mental Health Awareness Month was something that I, I was uh, listening to when I was riding my bike in the morning, um, which is something good to do when you have a lot of things on your mind and you just feel like you need to let go. And it becomes a habit of getting on my bike in the morning and and just letting it all go and just feeling refreshed and starting the day off and you know reminding all the the, the things that you were so grateful for um, we have to keep ourselves in check with that sometimes because we get so overwhelmed with things so as you can see look at this isn't that awesome so what happens is i put the glaze in the crease and as you can see it shows the details so much more i mean look at this i mean it just makes the whole piece can you imagine i was actually going to change the hardware why would I do that? It's so it's such a solid piece of hardware. So I do want to um, show you what I did for this piece. So I actually had something in mind, and this piece looked like um, this piece. Sorry, I get sidetracked. So this piece really looked older, and it looked very um, French style so what i wanted to do was give it that old linen um french look hey babe um and just give it that old french style look and it made me think of linen and old linen and very delicate but yet very stable and strong at the same time so what i did was um i did a texture on this piece and as you can see this is glazing i don't know if you can tell from up here but this is glazing i used a deck brush to go over it in the front and by hand, I don't know if you can see it here. Let me put this down a little bit. Maybe my new wheels don't work. <laughs> I tried. Um, so I did cross hatching with a few neutral colors around here just to give it some depth and dimension. And also on the feet, I do want to show you. Let me pull this a little bit. Okay. Let's see. You can see this. I don't know who's still watching, but as you can see, y'all y'all give me a thumbs up or something. God bless you. And let me know if y'all still watching. Um, so as you can see right here, you can see a little bit of the cross hatching. And this was just to kind of give it that aged feel and a little bit of a soft, um, I dropped some blades, a soft feel to the piece. And even on the legs, it gave like a little bit of a linen look on the legs. And I had people tell me they liked the way this looks. So I think I'm going to smooth it out and probably do a wax coat um, on the top of it. So, and I also did it up here just a little bit. Okay. So tell me, what do y'all think about this door? Like, I didn't put any more of my nose anywhere else. Um, the reason being is because I didn't want it to overpower the piece. Um, I didn't want it to compete with what else I was doing. Um, so I softened up the magnolias I did here, and that's why I did the cross hatching with a dry brush 
to blend it in with the rest of the door. So um, let me know what y'all think about it. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great day. This was just a little bit of information. Hopefully this helped. And Mental Health Awareness Month. Our days are longer, our days are warmer, and we have more sun. All right, guys, hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.